Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Krista. So today I'm going to be doing a another makeup review. I did pick up some new products by Anastasia. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. It's their first ever concealer. It's their Magic Touch Concealer. And then I also picked up the Cream Bronzer and I'm gonna try it out for you guys and let you guys know my thoughts. It's what I'm wearing right now. So if you guys do wanna see this video, then just continue to keep watching. All right guys, so we're gonna hop right into this video. Like I said at the beginning, we're gonna be trying out a couple new Anastasia Beverly Hills products and I'm so excited for this. I love Anastasio. I love their brow products so much. So we have their cream bronzer which I got in the shade amber and I haven't even opened these yet. I actually got them yesterday. I had them shipped to my house. A lot of the colors for the concealer were out so I feel like that's like the most popular thing and I watched one girl's review on TikTok and she did say that she liked it a lot. Oops, I think I have it backwards. So the Magic Touch Concealer and I got mine in the shade 5 and I can't remember what the undertones of that were but I it was kind of slim pickings. I think some of the shades that I would have picked they actually didn't have anymore online. So I'm going to open it for the first time. This is what the concealer looks like. Really nice packaging. And I did pull this stuff up on Sephora so I can just kind of give you guys a description of what they say it's like. Okay, so the Magic Touch Concealer retails for $29. It says it's a liquid formula, a natural finish, medium coverage, best for oily combo and normal skin, and good for dark spots. Um, and then for the cream bronzer, I'll go ahead and open that up. I believe this said this was $35 and it is a matte finish. I love cream bronzers so much and that's what it looks like. So I got a really like bronzy kind of tone. I would say it's not really for contouring but I'll probably not contour and just kind of put this in those same spots. Okay so yeah it is $35. It's a cream formula fragrance free without parabens matte finish doesn't have sulfates, a weightless cream bronzer that warms up the skin for a sun-kissed dimensional color while also creating contour and sculpted definition. This is also cruelty-free. It doesn't say it's vegan though, so I'm not sure about that. I haven't put on foundation yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I just wanted to show you guys what my skin looked like before. I am gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is pretty light. I'm not gonna put a lot on so we can really see how everything looks but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put this foundation on and then I'll be back to try the bronzer and the concealer okay we are back so like I said not too much different more of like a light to medium coverage just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so I figured we'll just put on both at the same time and this is what the applicator looks like it's like a dofa applicator but it has kind of like an angle at the end so that's cool Okay, so that is the concealer. Uh, now we're gonna try the cream bronzer. I'm so excited for this. And I think just to be like super professional, I'm gonna use a little brush. Sometimes I honestly just go in with like my fingers, um, but I also don't wanna ruin my nails. So it looks really buttery, like, oh, I'm so excited. Yes, I love that shade. I was debating to go with one of the lighter shades, but I'm honestly happy that I picked this one because I really like to look nice and like sun-kissed. So yeah, I like this shade a lot. Hopefully it blends out to a really nice color. I'm so excited. And then I'll probably do something on my nose just like a little bit. I'm probably just going to be extra and do like a whole bunch so we can really this to the test. I'm not good at the nose contour so don't come for me. I don't get too particular with it. And now some people do that thing where they like bring it down. Have you guys seen that? I don't know if I should do that. I'm too scared. Okay we're just gonna go with the regular. Cute. Okay I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more so you can see better but I'm gonna blend the concealer out first. 
I just did a thumbnail and I was getting nervous that it was gonna dry, but this is actually such a creamy formula, formula, you guys. Like, I don't know, I think it's like the Tarte Shape Tape or something like that. That one would always dry really fast. Like there's some concealers where you have to blend it out right away. And this one you can let sit on your skin for a minute, which is awesome. You don't have to be worried. You can like put your contour on and do everything. Cause that was probably like a good couple, more than a couple minutes. Cause like I said, I did the thumbnail too and kind of like when the formulas are more like this. Starting to blend out the contour and so creamy you guys, these formulas are great. I'm shocked, like, I was unsure, because it's like, did Anastasia come out with a foundation or something before? And I felt like it was a very, like, dry kind of formula. And I'm like, even though this is matte, like, look how pretty that just blended out. And I feel like my skin looks so glowy and nice. And I feel like that took no effort to blend out. Look at that. Ah. Oh. That is gorgeous. So yeah, I'm just using the beauty blender for everything because it's just blending out so nice with this. The, and I'm gonna just take this and kind of drag it into my hairline. I feel like I haven't been like super excited about a product in a long time. And this is doing it for me. Okay, so I was just checking it out in the mirror just to like look more detailed. And guys, I freaking love this so far. But I am gonna add just like a tad more underneath my eyes. I probably would have liked a color that was a little bit lighter, but like I said, this is all I could get. I had like a little bit on the bridge of my nose too, because I feel like I went a little crazy with the bronzer on the nose. You guys saw that. That was a little much. I definitely feel like with the bronzer, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need a lot. And I'm just going to try to like snatch this just a little bit more. and finish up my makeup and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so this is the completed makeup. I'm really happy with the way everything came out. I just ended up setting everything. I added a little blush and some highlights and did my lips and just finished up underneath my eyes and I feel so pretty. Um, I did use a lot of Anastasia products too because I used their brow products today and I also used their dewy setting mist which I just recently got and I love that as well. I think I'm a little late to that because I feel like that's been out for a while. But yeah, this was my first impressions. I friggin' love these products, you guys. I would actually highly recommend getting them because like I said, even though they're a little bit pricey, they're still not too bad in my opinion, being like a makeup lover. And I love the way my makeup came out. I feel beautiful. I just loved how everything blended out so easily. It makes my life easy and everything was still really pigmented. So if you guys want me to do more first impressions, let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!